Artifactors Union, Clampets Core Box. We are going to be starting with the Clampets themselves, an entire family as one master on a base. This is the artwork. That's roughly half the artwork, really. Uh, well, the render gives a better idea what they look like. Yeah, that's that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Here's the sprue. That's only 27 pieces. We've got numbered, labeled, whatever bits, so I don't have to point out literally everything to you, but we'll just start by creating the big celerid mount thing, adding its arms, the bits to its face. And they'll probably work from back to front with the gremlins and crap on top, but I might need to change that. We don't know. Combine E1 and E2 to make the body of the celerid. You know, these might actually be numbered in an assembly order for once, so we're, we'll give that a shot. E3 is the lower jaw. It's going to go right here on the front of the face. There we go. E4 is the upper jaw and whiskers. I'm going to go right up there. Oh, the teeth that are locked. That's so pretty. E5, right arm. E6, left arm. E7, the right leg. E8, the left leg. E8 is his teddy bear. It's going to go right here on the left side. Like so. Sorry, the teddy bear is E9, not E8. E10, our first of many gremlin children, is going to go right along here. You can kind of see where his hands are. There he is. A little butt crack. This is E11. We're going to attach E12, the head, to him before he goes on the rest of the model. There he is. Should be able to glue the head to the upper arms as well as the next stump. He's going to attach right here. There he is. Just make sure you push down on the connection point with, like, your knife or whatever. And it should slot into place pretty easily. Now just be terrified of breaking him off for the rest of the assembly. Can't go in numerical order anymore, sadly. So E16 is this rope bit here that goes on the thigh of the left leg. E17 will go in the same spot on the other side. Like so. E13, the child with the pistol. His butt is going to go right here. Heel will go right here, and this will be like the pant cut. Let's get my left leg. E24. E25, Ma Clampett's body. E26, the hair. E27, the right arm and baby. E14 is the rest of her dress and the right arm of the gun-wielding child. Okay, you can see the grooves from Mama's legs right there and right there. And once you pop her into place, the right arm should align correctly with the child. There we go. And the other side. E18, paws legs. Add E19, the torso. E20, the head. Grab E21, the fishing pole. Add E23, the other half of the bait child. Fishing pole is going on first, right here. Like so. Add dad right there and make sure to connect the hand. Like so. Now grab E15 and connect it there and there. Like so. Turn him over and do E22, the last bit, which is his right arm. Stay tuned for the reveal. Clampets. Fisher folk. All done. That was a lot of bits, but actually not that hard to do. I've had to do a lot worse with uh, fewer bits. Um... Advice, I'd say, follow the order I did pretty well. A lot of these pieces that are connected to each other are better when most of the model's sitting on the whole thing, not just trying to mash them together before you sit them down on the celerid. And I'd probably do the, the baby hanging off the back tail last, as opposed to early on in the build, just to make sure that it doesn't snap off or anything. But you got this? I believe in you. Moving on to the rest of the box. Artifactors Union, Clampet's Core Box. We're doing the totem today, and that is Bruce the Bestest Boy. Here is our artwork. And here is the render. Here be our sprue. I'm going to guess we put the two halves of the body together, then the legs, and the tongue last. Regardless, it should be easy. Okay, so this step i initially did last and then i realized it might be difficult for other people so i actually pulled the whole thing apart we're gonna start over specifically to make sure we get the tongue in there nice this is f5 and um this edge right here this this being the actual tongue and this is the bit that kind of goes in the mouth this edge right here that will go right along here on the inside of the mouth and this bit is f3 you could also glue it to f4 um wouldn't be that hard i just like this way better and that's what it looks like now you go ahead and add f4 and this is what it should look like f1 the hind legs and f2 the front legs. bruce is done 
Obviously, the tongue was the hardest part here, and again, you could have done it the original way I did it, which is assemble the rest of the body and then jam the tongue in there. I just found it, it was really easier doing the tongue first um, than assembling everything else after. But that's it. Not a whole lot there. Let's move on to the henchman. Artifact of Union, Clampett's Core Box. We are now doing the henchman, Auntie Mel. This is her artwork. And this is her render. Has nothing to do with Herman Melville, I swear. Here's our sprue. We're going to go ahead and start with the shell, put the body on top of it. Um, probably combine the two pieces of the cape net thing here, glue that on, do the sash in front, and then end with the head. D1 and D2, the shell. You and actually we're going to attach her to the shell last. In that case, grab D7 and add D6 to it. View from the back. Go ahead and grab D3 and proceed to worry about breaking that harpoon for the rest of your life. I was now years old when I realized she has a peg leg. I'm blind sometimes. Anyways, we're looking at her back and the cape is going to go right along here and you see this particular little hole. This is going to be what fits in it. So before and after. View from the front. D4 is this sash thing in the front. And possibly part of her hair. Not sure. And D5 the head. This one was a little tricky to get in there, but I still think the head should probably be the last bit you do. But the big thing is to make sure there's no gaps. And there's a little notch on the sash right here that the hair will attach to. And with that, you should be able to get it. And foot peg leg. Also, the foot connects to this spike on the shell, too, so not as difficult as I thought it would be. Auntie Mel is done. The only real hard part, I'd say, is just getting the head on there and making sure that the harpoon doesn't break in any of this, but you should be able to do it. Let's move on to some minions, then. Artifact is Union Clampett's core box. We're now on to the minion, the Skulker Skins. Uh, we're going to start with Skulker Skin A. I don't think this is his artwork on the front. And I'm relatively certain it is this one for the render. But they look very similar, so I guess we'll see. Here's our sprue. Um, Skulker Skin A is going to be these bits. We'll start with the body and... The rest of the body, the legs, um, arms, arms, and the blowgun. Let's start by combining A1 and A2. Go ahead and jam A9 in there, this lovely, lovely torso. Next is A6, the left leg and crotch flap. A5, the right leg. Alright, this is going to be slightly difficult. Eighth, A4 is our left arm. It's going to go in here, and then it will attach into this hole right here. Okay, that was mildly difficult, but at some point it just popped right into place. Uh, I do recommend now that you don't put the legs on before you do the arms. They're just going to get in the way. So um, as long as you're not falling along step by step, just do the legs after this. A8 is in the same predicament. It's going to attach here at the shoulder and then glue inside the mask right there. There he is. That one went in a little bit easier. And now the blowgun. While A7, the blow gun here, is actually just going to jam into that eye socket of the mask. There we go. I'm just almost perpendicular to the mask is how I got it to go. I remember the little, or at least notice the little twiny bits on it are pointed up. And uh, yeah, just get it so that it'll stick well. Last and not least, and certainly not because I forgot the bit was there, let's do the tail, which is A3, and this is what it looks like attached. From the reminder, don't just clip everything out, assuming that it goes to that one model. Almost always, the models are contained to like these sort of column-like structures. But in this case, we have B7, which is with all the other A-bit models. Uh, but that also goes to um, A and B. Skulker Skin A is done. Um, the hard part being really the arms and getting the blowgun on there to stick out straight. As you can see, mine's drooped a little bit. I'll probably adjust it later. But other than that, not bad. We shall call this one Huey. Welcome to my new angle. Clampet score box. Skulker skin B. This is the artwork for the boy. And that's the rent. Here's the sprue. It's going to be very similar like last time. Um, combine the two parts of the cape thing, the disguise. 
then the body. Actually, no. Two parts of the cape disguise thing. Then the tail, because I'm not going to forget it this time. Uh, torso, arm, arm, leg, leg, and this document holder thing. B1 and B2, the, the, the skin. B6, the tail. B3, the skulker. B5, the left arm. Yes, it will should glue to his face. B7, the right arm. It will also connect to the blowpipe. Um, and you kind of see there that the fingers on the blowpipe line up with the hand. Like, the blowpipe just comes with severed fingers on the bit, and those line up with the hand. B4, the pelvis and right leg. Uh, make sure you get glue on the butt and just push it in there with your knife. B9, the left leg. Uh, make sure that y you glue it to the side of the skin as well. And lastly, B8, the, um... Map case. It's it's a map case. That's what it's called. A map case. The map case goes there. Skulker case. The the skulker. That's a hard thing to say. Skulker skin. Skulker skin B is done. Um. Yeah. The hardest part was just getting the hand on the right arm to align with the fingers on the blowpipe. But on that, all fine. Moving on. Oh, almost forgot. We are naming this one Dewey. Should be obvious what we're going with here for the theme. Artifactors Union Clamp, it's core box, the last model, Skulker Skin, letter C. No artwork. And this is our render. Here's the sprue, and you can possibly see a bit of a problem right there. I don't know if this fell off inside the box and I lost it or what. I know I didn't clip it out, and they usually tend to not like get ripped off unless the sprue is missing. So I don't know, but it is a leg, and it's a non-critical part of the model, and it's probably one of the easier, most obvious plate, the pieces to add on, so we're just going to do the rest of him, and you will use your imagination for that missing leg. Anyways, we'll grab the torso, put the two pieces of the skin on it, and then the two pieces of the head, and then the, the, the one leg, and then end with the arms. Sorry, I don't know why I said I'd start with the torso, we're going to combine the two bits of the skin first. Combine C6 and C7 to make our little cloak here. Go ahead and jam C3, our gremlin torso, in there. C9, the left side of the head. C8, the right side of the head. You could probably combine the two pieces first and then pop them on there, but I did this one. C1, the left arm and the blowgun. C2, the right arm. It'll go and glue into that socket, but it will also glue to the end of the blowgun. You can actually see where the thumb is on the blowgun bit. C5 is the right leg. You should just be able to jam it up in there. And as you can see, if we had the bit for C4, it would just go right in there. Should be easy to do. We're done with Skulker Skin C. We're going to call this one Louie. Uh, sorry about the leg missing. Uh, I guess that was a good time to point out that Weird Games has a really good replacement policy, and the owner of this model should be able to get that bit and just fit it right on there, but... Uh, most difficult part of this whole thing was, um, I guess getting the right hand to connect to the blowgun. Other than that, really simple.